Hello, hi, I'm Patricia McNeely. I'm an Illumined Blu-ray Twin Flame from Chicago, Illinois. And I am a teacher and a guide of the new earth. So that's what I'm here to talk to you about. This year of 2019 is getting you prepped so that you have physical union, meaning you're able to hold it together. You don't keep doing that like and that um, that's a part of your unification process that only got moved into place as of last year. So get it through, get the things all set up, close the door on the lion's gate. A lot of you know that was a portal. And this is all related to everything. It's you and your true love and everything else in the universe, okay? And where is it in proximity to you? Where are you in proximity to each other? So what I'm going to talk to you about today is 111. Happy 111. And we are going to talk about the masculine feels you. It's not that the masculine hasn't felt you. The masculine has been boosting you. That's what the masculine energy does. The electric masculine boosts the Magnetic masculine gathers, and then the feminine magnetic can gather and start to move. So the masculine has boosted you. If you are a male-female couple, if you are a gay, two gay males, if you are two females, those energetics inside you have been doing this for you, okay? It's been very baffling to the mind. And yes, electric and magnetic. So these are principles of electromagnetism. However, there is something to know about it. It's no longer dualistic. It's no longer, I'm this, you're that. I'm the magnetic, you're the electric. You will be going through a polarity shift. I talk about that. I had a webinar on it a year ago. I'm going to start representing all of my webinars. So watch my website. Email me if you are interested in being in on a live presentation of that information so that it can help you. Men. So here's a message for the men. Okay. I've had some sessions with men lately. And men, I want to say to you, the ladies do appreciate you. Okay. That's number one. I think we need to say that because the electric masculine has propelled things into motion until he's tired. Okay. Um, there is an equalization factor. This is happening with a lot of these movements to get true equalization, true equality, true equal rights. That hasn't always been possible. You take things back 50 years ago, 100 years ago, as much as people wanted to, it just wasn't in place. Women had to finagle and manipulate to get their way. Men had to finagle and manipulate in other ways to get their way. And it was thought to be balanced, but it was actually the walls were up. People stayed separate and they stayed dualistic. All those walls are coming down. Your internal walls are coming down. You cannot put up a wall against your twin. If you meet someone and you feel like they're resisting you, more than likely that's not really a wall that they are having. They're having what I call a traffic jam of energy. That is my expertise. I help you get those traffic jams moving and get it flowing again. Stop the bottleneck. Stop all the things that are kind of, you know, tight there and making you uncomfortable and painful. So you can call it block if you want, but I don't believe in blocks. I believe in getting it moved. The other thing, men, it is your time now till June. You will get to know her. You will get to know her on several levels. You will dream her, you will feel her, you will feel her touch, and it will be different. It is not going to be trolling around in the astral plane, nor will it be confusing. You will actually know by feel how authentic it is. You picked her up. Now she invites you in. Now, if you are a female and you have a female body, your solar plexus high heart chakra connections are starting to gear up here. How do you know? Do you feel bloated? 
Do you feel pregnant? Do you feel it's like a false pregnancy? Do you feel tight? Have all your insides liquefied? Are you having chest pressure? Okay, you have additional chakras. Your 12th chakra right here is one of the most important high heart chakras. Do you know how to get it clear? If not, it's time to join my webinars. It's just time. Time to take that plunge. So I have a really good thing for you to be able to do that. So we're going to talk a little bit about what is this energy. Well, first of all, it is a ten of diamonds. Whoops. Ten of diamonds. Okay. Ten of diamonds pertains to just exactly for this time frame here, the impermanence of wealth, health, and drama. Now, this is going to pertain to aspects of inheritances. Are people counting their chickens before they're hatched? Are people counting on some kind of family inheritance? Or do you rely on it? You're going to be forced by circumstances, which are really your higher self, forced to make new relationships with this. This might mean making true peace and harmony with your family. So if you butt heads with your family, that's actually not the new earth way. The new earth way is true harmony. It's not putting up a wall and wall here and going, doo -doo 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 -doo. Whoop, I got all my armor. The armor is off. You have to transcend it. So this is also what this Uranus retrograde is about. It's about transcendence. And that's the other card with the masculine. Okay. I'm going to show you this is the full card. It's a male figure, but I'm going to use this one, stud, okay? I like that word stud. You know why? Because a lot of people, both male and female, have been studded out or married off or breeded to or wound up in the wrong family because of bad breeding or bad agreements or wealth agreements. You can think about... Some of the royalty in Europe, you know, we're going to marry this prince to that princess. That prince has his eye on his true love, but due to circumstances or retaining the wealth in the family, he is forced to not only marry, but breed. And guess what? His daddy, the king, studded him out. Okay. How many times have warriors been someplace? They get stationed somewhere. Throughout history, armies have been placed somewhere. And yes, people have interbreeded, okay? And we're bringing all of that back to the zero point. So this card is actually the zero card, and it is the fool. So we have the fool. Um, so we have two things, the impermanence of wealth, the health. Staying healthy while tied to those past life situations is not going to keep you healthy, okay? True letting go means removal from your body. And that's going to start coming up because it's removal from your Hara Chakra, all the things that you've been tied to or that has been attached to you. It's going to be the drama. Drama does not equal passion. The police know this one. They get called all the time for people's drama. Domestic disturbances, domestic violence. Okay, there will be an impermanence of that, which means that these things don't last. They wind up draining family resources. How many people do you know that when there's a divorce, the family resources are drained? You have a couple, they're one cohesive unit, but something happens, dad goes away, mom goes away, suddenly the family resources are depleted. Or something else happens in the family. Suddenly someone gets sick, we have to take care of them. A lot of you are taking care of elderly parents or grandparents, and you're wondering, how are we going to do this? Where are the resources? Now, this is different in every country, but this is the reality is that your union needs to sort this stuff out, and that has had to do with the Uranus energy. Uranus and Saturn, so those retrogrades you had last year, like I talked about in my webinar, these are for the proper structure of your life. That means your proper setups, your probably sorting and, and sifting properly. And it's going to include 
the structure inside your body. So that means your gut. If your gut's releasing it all, okay, and you're scratching your head saying, now why do I have a digestive problem? Why do I feel all bloated? Maybe it's wheat belly. Maybe it's this. Maybe it's that. It's not. It is your magnetic masculine. The masculine feels you, and they're going to boost you up on the inside. You come into each other in numerous ways, not just over a device, not just like, hi, how you doing? Okay, that part's got to come. You have to get good at the heart communication. So this card here, okay, this is especially for um, people that have had this issue in past lives, okay? Look before you leap. Always commune with your twin. Learn how to do this from me, okay? Do not re-enslave yourself. How many times have you felt saddled down either from a past life or this life? How many of you are actually the child that was supposed to be the glue in your parents' marriage to save your marriage. You were born to save your parents' marriage. No, you weren't. You were born to be with your true love. You took that couple as the freight train to get in here to meet your family, to meet your twin flame. You had a family, okay, maybe not the best family. Some people have good families. Some people have, you know, middle of the road families, mediocre, and some people have bad families, okay? You still will make the internal peace with any of your situations. You have to. It happens through your body. And that is why I teach about the body. Because you have a new body that gives you a fresh start. You have channels that refresh each of you. You and your twin. One for the other. The other for the one. Back and forth. You send love. You send messages. If you're scratching your head and saying, why do I get these messages? Okay. This is a time for your growth, your expansion. If you're just tripping around and, and enjoying some of it, that's good, okay? It is good to enjoy songs and lyrics and messages, but you might be getting tired of it. This is why you have to learn to commune with your twin flame so that you're getting the, not only the answers, but the guidance that you want. This Ten of Diamonds has a lot in it, and you cannot re-enslave yourself. So I have, uh, we have a very big moon event here. It is a uh, lunar eclipse when the shadow of the moon passes, uh, or the moon passes, be the earth passes between the sun and the moon. It makes the uh, appearance of the moon look very reddish. It's very lovely. And it's an event. If you've never seen it, see it. If it's not cloudy where you are, it's going to be visible in throughout the whole North and South American continents and parts of Northern Europe. Uh, so it is a full uh, lunar eclipse. Now what happens with lunar eclipses is it's a little bit like unplugged. You're going to unplug dimensional things. It's going to throw you off. But it's also going to push you to learn about your body and get good at using your body to surf these energies and get away from this stuff. A couple of other helpful things. Catching your spirit body and sealing your gates. As you go through these portals, do you know the proper way to seal your gates? Because if not, you'll continue to feel empathic. And there's a lot written about empaths, about how the feminine is the empath in the union. No, she's not. She's just been spiritual until he's boosting her. What do you think happens when those energies come up? You expand. You expand. And you're supposed to expand, which means you outgrow other things. You outgrow the past. You outgrow the things that once worked for you. But you still have to be new with it. So I have several things to help help you with. This moon here in the United States actually is happening on, uh, we have Martin Luther King Day. So Martin Luther King was a leader. He has great sayings such as, you cannot drive out darkness with darkness. Only light can do that. You need light to drive out the darkness. 
So we're in some gray areas though. It's shadowy, okay? Maybe the really, really dark is gone, but there's still gray stuff. You still use light to drive that out. He was a very wise man. He was a highly ascended being. His time was cut short. Who knows what he would have done, but he did a lot. And those aspects of slavery, okay? So whether you're enslaving yourself to an ex, enslaving yourself to a husband or a wife, enslaving yourself to a house, enslaving yourself to other people. If you have been enslaved, if you've been a slaver, you're going to release yourself, but you do not re-enslave yourself. That's what this transcendence is for, so that you rise above it and you're empowered. That's the thing people like to throw around. Empowerment, empowerment. How you truly empower yourself is you connect yourself through all the dimensions. You let go of the past, let go of that old paradigm, plug it in again. If you don't know how to do that, which a lot of you don't, because that's what I'm here to teach. That's not a criticism. This is so new. Most people don't have that information. It's time for you to join. It's time for you to get my webinar. It's time for you to join. I'm going to have a worldwide full moon meditation. Watch for the link below. I will have all the links below. Also, my book. Okay, my second book is out. This is book two, Twin Flame Ascension and Breath. Okay, it is my Twin Flame Body series. You have a Twin Flame Body. It's time to use it. I break it down and make it easy. There's going to be a couple other books in the series. And just to show you, this, this is a lovely painting painted by uh, someone in England um, for me. But do you see this? Okay, this is the whole picture. Okay, you have a um, whoops, you have a couple here. Okay, you have um, this twining. Okay, you are intended to twine your energies together. You may not know where that is or how it is or what's where's the traffic jams there. That is what I feel. That is what I help you get unstuck with. So the masculine feels you and so that you feel each other. You feel less of the world and you feel each other. You feel yourself rising above. That's what transcendence really means. It means rising above things, okay? Walking in the world without feeling like the things affect you so much. That's how it's supposed to be for Twin Flames and that's how it will be. So I'm kind of like the Panama Canal. You can cut through it and do it a lot easier and do it in a very easy, nice way, or you can round the horn and take an extra 8,000 miles to do it. It's your choice, okay? Is that to say you won't get to your destination? No, but there is a way to get yourself prepped so that you're getting yourself ready. Now, I get, uh, I get regular, regularly criticized for doing some of this stuff. And yeah, uh, I'm going to tell you something. If some of you hadn't been on track, if you hadn't been encouraged, you wouldn't be at this point. That's number one. If some of you hadn't been pushed, you wouldn't have had the lovely experiences you've had. You've met people. You've traveled. You've had lovely spiritual and high-level experiences. You made yourself better. You self-improved. You started to recognize what things do enslave you, okay? So, yeah, it's not about being a doormat. You're not supposed to be someone's doormat. You're not supposed to be the receptacle for them to dump their garbage into. You're not supposed to be their punching bag, literally. If you are, and I'm going to say this publicly, if you feel you're being abused, it's time to get out and call the police, Okay, because your body will be leaving. Your light body will start making the exit if you're not. I see that too. If you're not leaving situations, I see this is I do actually see this. Resources get drained out because you're putting things towards karmic and it's it's like having a black hole that things go into. If you do not know what to do, okay, you need to start getting busy with your body. That is where the basics starts, starts from, 
okay? You felt it through your body. You continue through your body. You're bringing your bodies together. You're here to be lovers, and that's another thing. A lot of you are focusing on what he's doing without even being romantic with him. And you might say, well, I'm tired. I tried all that stuff. You don't ever stop. You don't ever stop being romantic. If you lose it, you get it back down to the basics for yourself and you start feeling again because that will make you two feel like you can't feel each other. Feel. This is about feeling. Feeling really high love. If you're making it very third dimensional, okay, you're going to be in that impermanence level. You're going to be in the level where the health isn't lasting, you have drama, and you're back to square one. Okay? I have ways for you to cut to the chase. I have ways for, and I don't mean chase, runner and chaser, although some of that will stop. I mean, if you even watch squirrels out, you know, on the lawn, <laughs> watch your squirrels. They love to chase each other. It's a thing with angels. We love to outdo each other. We love our physical prowess, okay? But that running and chasing for people, it gets exhausting. And, and the main reason, it hurts the feelings, okay? You want to feel, and you want to feel the love. What do you do to get back to feeling love? Write it down. Do it, okay? It's poetry. There's a lot of great Canadians with great stuff. There's Sean Mendes. But one person I really like is Atticus Poetry. If you don't know Atticus, check him out. It's a very concise. It'll inspire you. It will kind of just give you that one little thing that puts, you know, takes it out of, hey, I'm here to take care of everyone else, make babies with people, whether it's a man or a woman, and I'm not feeling anything. I'm dead. My nerves are shot. I've got too many things on my last nerve. And the last thing I can feel, I'm too tired for love, much less sex or whatever. That happens with people. But get back to feeling with your heart. The masculine feels you. I have had a lot of men apologizing. Apologizing for on the behalf of men. I know the feminine because it's being said out there. But men, you've been doing a lot too. They're really, you work in tandem with each other. There is not one working harder than the other. It's just that it's not seen. It is in the unseen realms. So when your man is coming down to earth, just like everyone's been telling you he's coming, he's coming, or your woman who has been doing that and she's coming, she's coming, and every fiber of your cells, of your being, is telling you they're coming. You better believe it. Because if you deny what you're feeling, that they're coming to you, then you're not going to be, you're going to be back in that impermanence. You're going to be reversed, the fool reversed. So do look before you leap, okay? So thanks so much for watching. The links are below. Uh, you can reach out to me, and I do recommend that you have a session. I recommend that you have an energy session to get your energies moving, you can reach me at TwinFlamesMerge at gmail, TwinFlamesMerge.com, and TwinFlameBody. So thanks so much. Have a wonderful weekend. I will be back with more. Happy 111. Bye.